Hello fabulous Aries, welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2020. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, we have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And there is a lot of attention being paid to the sky as we move towards the middle of the month. It is a very active but also very rare and special sky. On the one hand, we are starting this year in eclipse season and it will be right around the 10th of the month that we will have a lunar eclipse. This will bring to a close eclipse season and this eclipse is happening at the very foundation of your chart. This has to do with home and where you live and your family of origin. But a lot of the news, if you will, in the astrological world is being paid to what is happening for you at the very top of your sky, which is a conglomerate of planets standing across the sky from this eclipse uh, and in the very top of your sky. And this includes a meeting of Pluto and Saturn. Now, just these two planets meeting is a big deal, but we've got all these other planets right there uh, with Pluto and Saturn, like the Sun, uh, like Mercury, and you add to this asteroid series as well. All of this is to say, with all of this conglomerate standing across the sky from this lunar eclipse, not only does it add that much more energy to what is happening for you in matters related to home and the very foundations of your chart, but there's a sense now that whether it is some ambition you have, whether it's a larger goal or your understanding of your destiny and your legacy, it is a factor into uh, the changes that are taking place for you right now. So for some of you, this is buying, selling, moving, uh, a new roommate. It could be a sense of wanting to start a home-based business or if you work from home, this can be a very powerful time where it feels like you are either really being asked to focus in and hone in on doing your best work, perhaps giving yourself to a project that you work on in your own time that matters to you that much more. But with this, um, it is also possible now that if it is that you work with homes or from homes, that there is a, an external presence, perhaps another person, perhaps someone who is in a position of authority who's kind of putting that pressure on you. So whether it is um, someone acting like the boss of you, whether or not they are the boss of you, or whether it is yourself that has this sense that there's more to do, there's more to achieve, there's more that you wanna get done, well, that can be part of the energy of this time. But for others, it is going to be a lot more personal. This part of the sky connects to your understanding of the past and where it is that you are invited to summon a spirit of forgiveness. If it is that you are uh, undertaking that very important work to clear your energy, to free yourself of uh, the hold that the past may have to your present, well, this is going to be a real uh, important moment, whether it's a real breakthrough moment or whether it is uh, a time when you are truly digging deep and understanding how so much of what you have manifested in a particular area is because of some defining experience in the past, it is ultimately this energy that's gonna help you to really get honest about it, really look at it and truly put it behind you. For others, this might be a time when you're just spending more time with your family of origin, your parents in particular. And so that can be part of what helps you to feel that you are at home more than you may otherwise be. Now, as we navigate later into the month, we are going to have a new moon. Now it's just a regular new moon after eclipse season is done and over in the early part of the month. It is going to be once we navigate further, right around the 24th is when we have uh, a new moon taking place. Now, there are a couple of things that make this new moon interesting. For you, it is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships. It has to do with groups that you belong to. And so social situations, but also professional alliances as well can be covered here. This part of the sky is also connected to really big opportunity and your relationship to groups, memberships, professional or personal. So here's the thing, with this particular new moon, it is speaking in harmony with Chiron. I love this for you because I feel like where it is that 
you are perhaps engaged in a group, like a support group, for example, uh, a therapeutic group, it is in these spaces that there is a lot of healing energy to be offered to you and a real sense of the work that you're doing to heal starting to pay off. Remember, Chiron is in your sign, and so you're able to tap into that energy uh, for truly personal strength and personal gain. However, we've also got Uranus speaking in a conversation of tension with this new moon, which means the sun, uh, which means uh, also Mercury is not too far away as well. So it is going to be on the lead up to the new moon that whatever surprises need to find you, as tends to happen with Uranus, they will show up for you and it very likely will be the new moon that brings resolution. Remember, new moons ultimately are a chance to begin again, to start fresh, to go down new pathways, whether it is new people showing up for you, new alliances, it looks like there might be a part of you that is on the one hand feeling as if, is this going to cost me? So uh, because Uranus is in a part of the sky that has to do with money you earn and money you spend, it could be that it feels as if there are expenditures uh, in relation to any new endeavors you may participate in. Again, it could be a membership fee, but it could also be friends and money right now uh, that lead you down surprising and sometimes uncomfortable roads, I'm sorry to say. So it might be a good idea not to mix friends and money at the time of this new moon, but for all that, this can also be a time when you feel as if friends are uh, behaving erratically or really differently than you expect, perhaps even out of character. Remember, your power in all of this, because we have no control over other people, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> uh, people do all kinds of things that have nothing to do with us. They will make all kinds of choices and decisions that are about them and their life and not necessarily about anything that we have done uh, or any choices that we have made. And so part of the blessing of this time is to be able to understand that lesson more deeply. But with Chiron in your sign speaking in harmony with this new moon, it tells me that you use whatever it is that does show up for you uh, to move yourself towards a greater sense of fortification, a greater sense of understanding, and a greater sense of ownership as to where you have an ability to influence others, but more importantly, where it is that you don't. So that is part of the gift of this time. I would add, and as I said, this part of the sky can be connected to big opportunities, especially ones that other people facilitate for you. Uh, with Uranus speaking to this new moon, the way that Uranus is, it's possible that an opportunity does come, but it feels really out of left field. It feels very different. Perhaps it's really outside of your comfort zone. It might uh, challenge you in some ways to look at your own sense of self-esteem and self-worth. But ultimately, if it's coming up in terms of your own lessons coming up, it means that that is where your learning is and that is where your healing is. But what you do with any opportunity is always up to you to decide in light of your unique circumstances. Now, where it comes to matters of love, the first half of the month, Venus is moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with these very social areas that I just mentioned with the new moon. The same part of the sky that new moon is taking place in in the first half of the month, we do have Venus here. That can be really nice for being social and friendship and love, finding a way to meld and mesh together. Um, but it is in the second half of the month that Venus will move through a part of the sky for you that is decidedly quiet. This is the sign just before yours. And it is in this part of the sky that whatever's happening romantically, you're not necessarily ready to shout it from the rooftops. And it is possible that you could connect with people, but there seems to be elements that make connections complicated right about now. So if you're open to meeting someone new, as I said, friends and love, there's like this uh, melding happening in the first half of the month. It is possible that you feel or develop feelings for a friend or they for you. And also connecting with people as you're spending time with friends is also possible at this time. But once we get into the second part of the month, any new people that do come along, uh, there might be some aspects that make the connection more complex than appears on the surface. 
and that may be something you have to take into consideration. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, uh, there might be a desire to spend more time with friends in the company of this person, uh, seeing how they are in friendship and social circles, which can be quite nice. But it is in the second part of the month that there's much more a desire for a soulmate connection that starts to rise within you. Now this energy can work out a couple of different ways. Sometimes it is that the two of you start to maybe not talk about things as much as you did before, but it's more about just being in each other's presence, feeling whether or not this person is right for you. But the other part of this as well, sometimes with this energy, because this part of the sky can sometimes represent closures. Well, if it is that this is not the right person for you, it may be that you start to be more honest with yourself about this in the second half of the month. The other layer to this is that it could be that it feels as if this person is just not around as much um, in these particular weeks in the second half of the month. To give you a little bit of a heads up, next month, Venus will move into your sign and that tends to be one of the best cycles uh, to feel and experience more love in your life than you did before. And I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. For those of you who are in an established bond, um, it is this sky that speaks to a few different things. I do feel like the energy of that eclipse uh, that is happening right around the 10th can be very powerful in terms of helping the two of you understand uh, the home that you want to build together or maybe you do have together already and where it is that perhaps what is transpiring between the two of you well how is your home and your living space going to reflect that at the same time though i do like the energy that is transpiring in the second part of the month because it is about nurturing a connection between the two of you that doesn't need to be understood intellectually but rather is one that you feel and with Venus moving through this part of the sky, again, in the second part of the month, well, chances are you'll be feeling that soulmate connection with your partner. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot here, but I am going to say that conglomerate of planets at the very top of your sky, it's getting a lot of attention. It has been for years, and now here we are. We are at this moment of Saturn conjunct Pluto. And for you, this has to do with career, social standing, life purpose. And there's a lot of focus being paid to this very area right now. Your understanding of what it is that you're here to do, your destiny and the legacy that you are creating will very likely get a moment of truth with a sky like this. But that truth actually will reach a much more deeper part of you. A much more personal part of you as well where you may come to understand how your past has fueled your understanding of that very destiny and as you redefine where it is that you have been you may very well realize that there are endlessly more options than you previously realized as to your pathway forward well thank you so much for watching Please stay tuned because I've included preview horoscopes of the 2020 year ahead horoscopes coming up right, uh, right about now. And I hope that you absolutely love them. These special horoscopes are free to superstars or you can download them on my website, nadiashaw.com. I hope you absolutely love them. Of course, if you want to know and go ahead week by week as we go along through the month, um, you can log on to my website, nadiashaw.com and sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous superstar Aries. Welcome to your 2020 year ahead special horoscope. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing year it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. It is the kind of year where I do believe you are going to get in touch with your power and yourself. On a very profound level, you are actually considering and then reconsidering who it is that you are, but also where it is that your drive and your sense of direction and what is it that gives you determination well what part of you within fuels that 
It is you connecting to the source of the engine that gives your life spark.